everybody, so as promised, this is a up-to-date version of my current Lush collection. Um, obviously, it is always changing because I am a believer that fresh is best, but I do always like to have a few things on hand um, in case I need a little bit of TLC. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up at the end if you've loved watching me show you my collection, and I will catch you all later. Bye! Okay, so first of all we have some softy foot lotion, some no drought dry shampoo, some fairy dust, some vanilla dusting powder and some Mr. Sandman dusting powder which is actually really gritty and I'm not a big fan of the texture of this in comparison to vanilla but I don't like vanilla as much as the scent of Twilight so it's a compromise. So for shower gels at the moment we have a Butterball and a Flying Fox, which I'm currently using. Um, I also have a Mini Comforter, Prince Charming, Lord of Misrule, Snow Fairy and Yummy Mummy. Absolutely love all of these and really have them just so I can sniff them because they just smell gorgeous. I also then have a um, 500 gram bottle of Twilight, which I picked up in the sale last year and I just can't bring myself to use it because I love it way too much. I then have a Fly and Fox body lotion which I picked up in the Lush kitchen um, to go with the shower gel because I absolutely love it. I then got a big pot of Sleepy, Roots and Blousy. Blousy is banana shampoo that's in the Oxford Street exclusive, absolutely adore it. Roots is a hair treatment which I have done a video on and I will link it above. And then I have a giant pot of the Comforter body conditioner. This was a Lush kitchen exclusive and um, I also picked up a um, one of the Butterball in this one and I just absolutely love it. Really, really gorgeous. Um, I haven't opened this one yet but I'm going to start using it very, very soon. So I have a mini Rose Argan body conditioner and one of the Bunny Moon face masks, the jelly ones that came out. Um, really, really like this product. I think it's absolutely great. In fact, all three of these are kind of in my favourite collections. Um, Amia May... Um, perfume is just a die for wouldn't be without it at all use it nearly every day now so currently my reusable bubble bars include two um, of the bunch of carrots left over from Easter I've got one pink flamingo which was discontinued this year and one um, magic of Christmas bubble bar which just came out for Christmas so next so next in my pot here I've got a few more new goodies I've got the um, I've got a bubble bar that came out for Christmas I think it's called bang snap or something like that it has actually broken in half so it's just sitting in here waiting to be used I've got the snow fairy body conditioner in the naked range um, I've got one candy mountain I've got a unicorn horn I've got two pips for those of you that don't know what pip is he is a cute little uh, penguin bubble bar I have got one of the ladybugs uh, I've got two sparkly pumpkins and another pip that's everything that's in there okay so next I have a bubble rune a rose jam bubble rune I have one of these cute little um, snowmen which came out this year and a peeping Santa Okay, so other bath, uh, bath bubble bars that I have at the moment is the Bewitched, um, the Christmas Pud, the Man in the Moon, the Creamy Candy, I've got a Night Before Christmas and a Pink Pumpkin. Uh, I've also got a Two Front Teeth which is living in a bag at the moment, a Mod Father bubble bar which I desperately need to use up and a Creamy Candy. I then have two I then have two giant sunflower bubble bars. These are absolutely amazing and at some point I'll be doing a demo on them because they are ginormous. I mean, look at that beauty. I also then have a Super Tramp and a Mellow Moments bar, bubble bar which came from the Lush Kitchen on the last week before it closed itself down. I have got a Butter Bear and a Butter Ball. I have got a Yognog bath bomb, I've got an Avo bath bomb, I've got a Monster Ball, um, a Shoot for the Stars, I've got a Cheer Up Buttercup bath bomb, I've got a um, 
snow fairy snow jelly bomb i've got a rocket science bath bomb uh, i've got a honey lamps from the lush kitchen um christmas jumper sherbet dip i cannot remember what this one is called it's new for lush kitchen for the christmas range and a ectoplasm bath bomb so that is actually all the bath bombs i've got at the moment so scrub wise i have um two scrubby bees absolutely love these fell in love with these earlier this year and absolutely died when i run out so i have two always on backup now in panic mode i picked up a buffy in the hope that it would be similar but never got round to using it so that's still there waiting to be used and i also have a rub 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 body scrub um and a stepping stone foot scrub as well for winter i also have before i forget um a is this a sugar mama sugar scrub from the lush kitchen which smells of honey i shrunk the kids so yeah i've got a few little scrubs to be working my way through Ooh, you scrubber okay so next i have three oxford street exclusive bath mounts so i can never remember what they are named but um they just look like yummy kind of sticky gooey sweets i have a um uh, Manoush Zatar, um, Oxford Street exclusive, uh, this was a Lush Kitchen bath melt along with the Rose to Damascus one which is absolutely gorgeous. I've got a Boo, they are really hard to get hold of now, a um, Floating Island bath melt, a Mellow Moment and a Melting Snowman from the Lush Kitchen. Okay, so soap wise I have a Honey I Wash the Kids, um, a uh lavendery scented soap can't remember what this one's called i've got two pieces of the rogues argan gourmet i've got a yognog i've got some fun i've got some maypole sexy peel figs and leaves sea vegetable i've got one of these amazing pears if you haven't been in to lush to try one of these you need to get in two pieces of sea salted caramel and yeah just a nice little platter of soaps going on I also have a giant Mother Earth bath bomb which I picked up from the Lush Kitchen. Absolutely. Uh, I actually picked this one up from Lush Oxford Street. It's huge and ginormous and very dusty. Golden Wonder bath bomb. He's absolutely ginormous as well and will be getting used up very soon. So in here I have the Lush Comforter bubble bar. Every now and again I'll open it up and give it a whiff because it just smells absolutely amazing. And this is a really great way to store your bubble bars which I will be talking about later on this month in my little videos. So guys, that's everything from me. I hope you're having an amazing time. Don't forget to go and check out your local Lush for some amazing goodies and I will see you all soon. Bye!